Hey YouTubers, it's me, Monkey Dragon here, helping all you green goblins out there. Well anyways guys, today a lot of you guys have been asking about my LMGs, because I've been playing with a lot of you guys, and most of you guys have been asking me, hey Monkey Dragon, what attachments do you like to run? Hey, when you played this video, what did you run on this? Hey, what's your favorite LMG? Hey, what's with this, this, that, and this? And I figured I would make this video solely for the... Not that you guys would stop asking me questions, because I love the questions that you guys ask me. It's really good to give you some feedback on stuff. But, so that maybe more of you guys would know what I think of stuff. You see what I'm saying? So that, for you guys that aren't able to play with me, for you guys that aren't able to ask me questions on what's my favorite stuff, I could actually tell you guys, you know, in this video. And by the way, this video, one of my favorite games that I played today. I did some pretty beastly stuff. Anyways, so let's get back to the main topic of the video. Um... First off, my attachments. My favorite number one attachment that I will recommend it to you guys every single time is stock. Because the LMGs are very, well, all the LMGs are very slow and sluggish kind of weapons. So stock is a really, really good attachment for this one and sole reason. Because since it is slow and you can't really run around and, you know, pull up your weapon fast and quickly aim down the side and get your bullets off. So already having your gun pre aim down sight and moving really fast because you have stock is a really, really good advantage so that you can have that edge of the submachine assault rifles and all the other basic, you know, fighters out there. And even if you are, quote-unquote, head glitching or hiding behind cover or whatever, you can always quickly move behind the cover, you know what I mean, in and out, and quickly take these guys out with stock. Probably my second most favorite attachment is a sight of some kind because most of the LMGs be, I don't know what it is, but the way they shoot, they have a large explosion. I, you know, obviously, the bullet is being fired. But I often lose target or lose sight of my target. That's that's a correct way to put it. So I usually run a sight. But if I'm not going to run a sight, my favorite setup is to actually use laser sight. And if you guys don't know laser sight, it's to you know decrease your hip fire spread. That's a really good one. Solely because the LMGs have a huge hip fire spread. And if you ever get... Not scared, but if you ever get into a, an engagement that you weren't planning, I'll put it that way, and you shoot, because if you're aimed on sight, you'd probably lose. Target Finder really helps, because a lot of the SMGs, assault rifle guys, already have a tighter spread and everything on you. And since your LMG has a really high damage rate, it's a really good idea to go ahead and just run that. So if I'm not planning to run a sight, that's what I run. And now we, let me briefly talk about the LMGs. My favorite LMG, and always will be, is the LSAT. That is my absolute favorite LMG. The fire rate and damage that it does with the low recoil is honestly awesome. It is my favorite LMG. The reason why you've been seeing me running other LMGs is because I told you guys I was going to go for diamond LMGs. And I'm actually really close. I need to get like... I just did the math. I think 88 more kills without having any perks equipped. And then like... Three more long shots. That's all I need. That's all I need, and then I have diamond. So as soon as I get that, I'm going to post a video. Well, I'm actually going to post multiple videos showing you the gold weapons and then showing you them in diamond. So that's my plan, and I'll probably have that either tomorrow or the following day, depending on how much footage I'm going to record. But anyways, back to the LMGs. So that is my favorite LMG. My favorite LMG for moving around and having fast fire rate is the LSW, this one right here. This one is awesome for fire rate. It is like a submachine gun LMG. If you put on like quick draw and laser sight, you could probably run it like an SMG, as long as you have like dexterity and lightweight, obviously. But yeah, you would easily run this like a submachine gun. It has an extremely fast fire rate. I can, I can rival SMGs with it. And once you get used to the recoil of it, you can usually pull it down and keep it dead on accurate. It's, it's usually pretty easy to handle the recoil, but if you're not really good at um, finagling with recoil, you probably won't be able to handle it that well because it does go straight up, but that's the one of the benefits too, is just pull down. Um, second of all, another good LMG to run. This one I consider my more fast-paced kind of um, LMG, the one that I'm looking for to move between covers, to get around and shoot people, is the hammer. The hammer I consider my cross between my... LSW and my LSAT because my LSAT is like my juggernaut one that's the one I use to hold down an area and let no one ever get anywhere near that that's what I consider for that gun my um the hammer I consider a cross between the LSW and the uh, 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 too many acronyms the LSW and the LSAT that one because it has that fast mobility that I feel it's pretty fast and it still has that good high damage 
So that one I consider for that. But obviously my top favorite one, but remember, my L set is not for running around. The L set you can run around with if you get pretty professional with LMGs. And by professional, I mean, I'm not trying to say that I'm really, really pro and I'm a, you know, an expert or anything, but I've run them a lot and I know how my LMGs work. So don't try to run around with the LSAT if you're not well aware of its capabilities and its drawbacks. That's going to be my little hint to you guys. If you're planning to run around with an LMG and you want to get used to the slowness of them, I recommend the LSW because it has that feel of an SMG. And then if you want to kind of step up, then use the hammer. And then once you get pretty decent with the hammer, go ahead and run the LSAT. Um, do not run the MK. The MK is absolutely the worst LMG the worst. If you use the MK and then judge the rest of the LMGs based on the performance of the MK, you were sadly mistaken. The MK is an absolutely garbage based LMG. And I can say that because I got gold with it. That thing's garbage. It was the worst hell I've ever been in to try to get that gun gold. So with that being said, it's the worst LMG. Okay, so let's move on to perks. I've already said this and I will say it again. The best perks is scavenger toughness. For me, because I plan to live a while and the LMGs have a lot of ammo and I hold down the trigger a lot more than what people might consider to be normal but that's because it has a lot of ammunition so I almost do it for suppression sometimes I hold the trigger down longer so that my so the enemy doesn't poke his head back up and I say dude flank left while I'm giving you suppression cover you know what I mean so then my teammate flinks around right and goes ah and kills him so that's what that's there for that's why sometimes I hold down the trigger a little bit more and toughness really helps because the the rate of the fire rate for the LMGs and the way the damage is, those bullets, you cannot miss a bullet. It is really, really important to not miss a bullet. So toughness helps you keep on those bullets because the SMGs are more likely to get more rounds into you. You are likely to get fewer rounds into them. But keep in mind that it takes them longer to kill you. You see what I'm saying? So that they get two rounds into you. Oh, whatever. I'm going to put two rounds and kill you with my two rounds. If you miss those two rounds, you're dead and done. That's why you want to really make sure you keep those rounds into you whenever you're getting shot. So that's why I love toughness. Toughness is, is a really, really good perk. I will always recommend that. And this is my kind of stand up and go kind of class. It is flat jacket, scavenger, toughness, and tactical mask. Because I play a lot of domination, and I'll always recommend that class for an LMG domination. That is a really go to class for it. And then also, you have to take into consideration whether you're playing kill confirm if you're planning to move around or not. If I'm planning to play kill confirm and move around, I will probably run like lightweight and dexterity, but that always varies between how well I'm doing with it or whether or not I feel I should put on hardline or something. Always keep variations into between your classes. Just because this works for me doesn't mean it works for you. And I will always say that, guys. Just because I'm really good with the LMGs. It doesn't mean that you will always be good with the LMGs. That's just something to always keep in mind. Just because you see like a really famous YouTuber do, you know, let's say 205, doesn't mean that if you run his exact setup that you are going to go 205. It's usually the person behind the character. Always run what you play with. If you were a fast-paced mover, LMGs are not made for you. Probably run a submachine gun or a shotgun. If you like to hide in the back of the map and snipe people, then obviously a sniper's for you. You see what I'm saying? Always adjust for your play style. Okay, so those are usually my favorite perk setups, but mostly what I've been running lately is obviously flat jacket, you know, scavenger, tactical mask, and toughness. I don't know why I skipped out toughness when I said scavenger, but anyways, because I'm finding a lot more people using a lot more of equipment lately, not only in domination, but a lot more in kill confirm, especially. So that's why I'm running that. Uh, um, as far as secondaries, because I remember when I said my first, um, well, my, my LSAT gameplay, I said because of the long reload, I recommended a good pistol to switch out to. So a lot of you guys have been asking about my favorite secondary. And honestly, I haven't been running the secondaries recently, so I can't honestly say what's a good secondary because maybe a patch changed something or a quick update did something. So I can't honestly say this is the best secondary or what's good for me is good for you. So once I get back to use my LSAT, I'll probably go ahead and put on a secondary because sometimes there's really important times where you have to switch onto your pistol and it has a really long reload. So I'll still recommend a pistol. But if you can almost conserve your ammo and know when you're going to reload and know when you're going to get into engagements, you can avoid putting on a pistol, maybe put on an extra attachment or bringing in some um, an extra perk. Me, personally, I really don't use equipment. If you were to go onto my Call of Duty Elite and look at my equipment, I really have none equipment. Or I have none. I really don't use them. I have very few. I probably used under 250 equipment on my whole career. I really don't use them. Along with my secondaries, I really don't use those either. 
But yeah, guys, that's my LMG setup, how I feel about them and everything else. I hope you guys really learn from this. You know, maybe do a little better with them. So like the video if you liked it or if you found it helpful. Subscribe to me if you want to see more of my videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about me because who wouldn't want to win 20 bucks? And if you want to stay updated on all my videos and everything that I'm doing, follow me on Twitter. It's at XXMonkeyDragon. A link to it will be in the description. I'm Monkey Dragon. That's all I got, guys. Peace.